Hey, yo, what's going, bro? We hopped up on that bus. It's chill, hot and Raji. Glad you came to whip with us. Got no GPS or telling what we gon' discuss. Shout out Thompson Farms, they got the melons and the nuts. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of the Big Ugly Sports Show. We are brought to you by Premier Properties of Dublin. We are your first source for mediocre sports coverage. We are excited to be here. It is summer break 2023 for the teachers. We got to sleep in a little bit this morning. We ready to roll. Let's meet the big and the ugly that's in here with us. Sitting to my right right here, he is a UGA graduate and a diehard dog. He can make a bottle of mouthwash stink. His bottom rows crooked as they come. He is the pride of Buddy Johnson Road, Adam Height Hightower. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's good, fam? What's good? A little intro coming in right here. To our left, with Mama tried. Mama did try as hard as she could. Unsuccessfully, <laughs> he's back yet again. Most successful, he's of all the, of all the arguably the pride of Dexter, Georgia. That's true. Oh, now we talking about Big Mitch Lawhorn. Welcome back, Mitch. What's up? What's up, fellas? His mama did good. Two or three ain't bad. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> and then a first time guest, loyal listener of the show, the CEO, the owner operator of Thompson Farms, where they do have the best melons and nuts around. Also, multi-state champion. Didn't say that about you, Mitch. I, I feel like that's a low blow. A little hurt. Welcome to the show, MT. Coach oh, Mike Thompson. Excited to be here. Excited to be here. Long time loyal listener of the show. <laughs> that's the kind we like. All right. So to start the show off. I called a little grief because I was running a little behind this morning. But let me let me lay out kind of how this morning went. But I'm used to you being late. Too. That's, that's cap. Pretty major cap. So this, you know, I got a buddy, and and I'm not going to name his name on here. Uh, great friend. I always will do anything I ask him to do. So he needed a favor from me, and I've done it before. But I, he said, uh, hey, man, we're going on vacation this week. Can you run by the house and let, let my dog out, you know, in the morning and evening? I said, sure. You know, no problem. Just let me know when. Well, he's got a bad tendency of letting me know, like, later than he should let me know last to go. Night. Yes. And so he texted me last night, hey, can you run over in the morning, let the dog out? Told him where the key was, no problem. So I head over there. Go into the laundry room of the kitchen where the dog stays. And first off, the dog is, I mean, it's short, stocky, sweet dog. I open the door expecting, you know, all right, there's going to be some, there's going to be some trouble in here from, he's been in here long. No, 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 number one, number two on the ground. So I'm like, okay, good deal. Well, the dog's built like a pack of sausage. I mean, just like when you go to grab him, he's sturdy, solid. So like me, like, just like you. (laughs) So, so I pick the dog up. Well, when I pick him up, I've got him vertical. He starts spraying. Like like the any little bit of pressure that I put on his stomach, he starts spraying. So then I notice I've got him horizontally, and I'm going stop, 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 as I'm trying to run through the kitchen, through the living room, and it's just shooting up just like this. Why didn't you get out the back door? There was, there was no – that was the closest door. Oh. I, I mean, I had already headed by the time – I was in, midway through the kitchen. So this, dog, had, this dog is pissed all over the house. Dude, like, like I've never seen a little dog pee that much. It's peeing straight up. I finally get it outside. They got like a little patio and then grass. I put him on the patio, and he just kind of waddles on into the yard and then pees. I'm not kidding for 30 more seconds. That's, like that's how you get out of chores. Is if you screw you up so up. bad, they'll never ask you to do it again. Yeah, but and then boom. The whole time, I'm, you know, I'm a dog guy. I'm thinking, man, poor dog. Like this, <laughs> this dude was to the touch. Like I mean, I just you touch that and he just starts spraying. <laughs> I feel his pain. I'm like I every mean, morning. When you get my age, you can't, you can't, you can't hold it long every morning. So, so I get him out. The bathroom. It, it's all over my flip flops uh-huh. and my foot. You know, it's just it's a it's a crime scene inside from <laughs> of, of your crime scene. Crime scene of your. Well, I've had to. So then I finally get him outside and I shut the door. I'm like, all right, what do I do? The other dog had no problems. What other dog? Oh, I thought it was another. No, just one. Just it'll one. dry before they get home. So I was like, do I leave it on the yeah, wood leave. floors? I mean, it's a lot. It's not like a sprinkle. Like it's depends on there's who it a, is. There's li- <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> there is a trail. If it, a, if it was High Towers house, just <laughs> leave let it, it go. Leave it. Clean it up. If it's Jay, baby, leave it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel I feel bad for Bree, but not Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so I grab some paper towels, wipe it up, and I'm like. That's just still, and I don't feel like that's enough. So then I just open the laundry room, find a Swiffer, 
Couldn't find nothing to go on it except a little paper towel. Anyhow, so that's why I was running behind. It turned from a five minute ordeal into about a twenty five minute ordeal of me cleaning their house and something similar happened to me one time with my middle son. He was just out of diapers and he was want, with, with a kid. He was, yeah. he was, <laughs> he was not a dog. He was want, he wanted to pee outside, so I was I was standing behind him trying trying to help him get get his shorts. He pees over his shoulder into my face. <laughs> Dude peed right in my eye. <laughs> like straight eye? Yeah, right into my eye. Did you get pink eye? It was Jake. So no. you get pink eye. Mm-mm. That and Scott Bell. <laughs> Scott, Scott Bell. <laughs> Never seen the South Park episode? That's how you get pink eye? He said, making out with Scott Bell. <laughs> oh, this that one. So, yeah, eventful morning. Eventful morning for me, but how nice is it to sleep in a little bit and do the show hike? It was good. I like it. I much prefer this to, to getting up at 4.15 in the morning. Yep, so we're doing it on Tuesday morning a little later than normal, but we're still publishing on Wednesday. Law, you had a little little observation, what you got going on. I heard you talking. You were going to tell me once about, we got started. I, I, I got folded I, up. Leading up with a question. I'm glad, I'm glad Thompson's here because he, he's a fisherman. So when you go to the lake, we're, me and my fiance Haley went to, went to the lake this weekend. So when you go to the lake, who owns those fish in the, in the lake? That's my question for you guys. Whose fish are those? I would say they're they're nobody's fish unless you catch them. Then they become your fish. So let's per se, because people do this. Per se. Let's just pretend I'm in a boat. I'm fishing by your dock. Talking to that mic now. I'm 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 fishing by your dock. It's late at night. You can move it close. You can move the mic closer to you. It'll it'll move. It'll move long. You make it it real hard like you've never done this before. And so I'm casting up at a dock. We got the lights out. All right, he's got his lights on. Just wearing catching perch. It was almost like he was inviting. Just you exactly. Yeah. I mean, on. he left his lights on. He wanted me to come fish there. That's fair. But he comes out on the porch, stares at me for a good five ten minutes. I, I believe he thought he's going to scare me off. Not a law. And then he comes down. To you the scaring a law on that, are you? Then he comes down to the porch and one was down to the dock. Gonna, gonna, I mean, down to the dock. He's going to give me the business about catching his fish. I said, no, bro. These are not your fish. I said, you don't even own the dock. I said, oh, uh, Georgia Power owns that dock and this lake. I said, uh, these fish are not. Well, we we keep our dock clean so we can keep fish in front of them and this, that. And say, I said, well, you. I really Thank appreciate you. it, man, because I'm telling you, I'm wearing them out. Y'all got them. Here. Y'all got them. <laughs> yeah, y'all got them. And if y'all want to catch them, y'all come out here and fish with me if y'all want to. <laughs> y'all catch some of these fish. Did you, uh, you're he, you're he frying did, them up. He, he hey, you're like welcome to come eat with us. He wasn't going to win that argument. And then he finally gets upset. And Haley's all freaking out. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. She's all freaking out. No. You stay in your ground, but you, but you stay oh, yeah, wearing them out. Are you casting while you're talking? I'm casting while I'm talking to him. Caught two while I was talking to him. Just wearing them out. I was like, that's, that's all right here. Hey, put that one in the cooler. <laughs> uh, needless to say, that I wish I knew his name so we could, when, when we say our prayer, when we're eating them white perch, we can uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank him for all his so, fish he let so us So, how have. long did y'all go on arguing about whose fish they were that I, you were catching? I bet it was a good 30 minutes. It was a good look. What time of day is this? It's or, not, it's not like it's late or? With the lights on, I believe I was. Refer- yeah, but I mean, yeah, but nighttime like could be 8 o'clock PM, or 4 a.m. 11, 1. I think it was about nine thirty. You know, o'clock. there's Sunday there's, night too, because and then everybody had already been up all day. You know, at the lake. It don't take a lot here to get your mic muted, so you keep dumb comments up like that. Will oh. mute you? <laughs> he's, he's big. He, he's big he's got a hair trigger he's, on the mute. Exactly. Right? You get a little power when you get behind the sound. That is that. Is. that that's too much power for one. So man. why don't why does Georgia? Power, I would have never known owning the docks. You don't own your own dock. What? When you when you buy if you buy land up there, and, and I don't think Georgia Power sells land up there anymore, but they they built the lake. So, you, when you build your dock, if you want to work on that dock, you got to call Georgia Power to work on the dock. Because uh, it's in the lake. Build a, if you build a dock, you got to ask Georgia Power's permission. They own, if the water's up to the water's edge, they own about five foot onto the land. Mm-hmm. So, they own all the land on the outskirts of that lake up there. Now, I will say this. He's telling you this like he knows it to be an actual I believe, fact. I believe it's right. I'm, oh, I'm, here we go. I mean, <laughs> here we go. I, I wholeheartedly <laughs> believe that's right. I, I know Hightower will fact check me. At some point, Jamie in, in Waco, Texas, El Paso, wherever the piss he's at. Yes, we will He's going to text. text me 8,000 times. You're not right. That's incorrect. <laughs> that, and I love it because this happened last time you were on yeah, the show. It, Jamie, it, Jamie's and, and by over. by the way, I was right. Jamie was dead wrong. Trying Thank to say you. And I was w- at the game Let's in take this time right now to, to really uh, a real American hero, Jamie Lawhorn. He's defending freedom for, for all of us. And we would, really wouldn't be able to do this show if it wasn't for Jamie Lawhorn. That's true. Thank you, Jamie. Dr. Lawhorn. Dr. Somebody but, uh, had a cup of coffee in the in the 
in the Marines, didn't they? Yeah, but Law, Law was in the Marines. He, hey, when it gets to be Veterans Day, I'll, I'll salute Damn. you. He's not, Jeremy's not dead. Not Memorial Day. Yeah, I know, yet. I know yeah. but he but he's currently like, he's active right now. He's, a, he's active. He's a, first of all, he's he's like a quartermaster. He's a, he's he assigns <laughs> toilet paper to people. <laughs> he's like a he don't even he don't even deliver the toilet paper. He, he just assigns I thought he was a general. He's at like, this point. Yeah, he's like a three star general. At this but, point. Of a assi- uh, three star general of assigning toilet paper. <laughs> Well, you're going to get some ugly texts today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we like to give him business. Our our buddy, uh, Ernest, used to ask him every time he'd go on, because he's a reservist. Every every one weekend out of the month, he's like, we said, where's Jamie? Driving tanks this weekend. Don't worry, driving tanks. <laughs> Ain't never set foot in a tank. Never. <laughs> oh, good stuff. So, you wore them out over there, huh? We, what did we call a pretty good amount? It was busy. It's, it's a lot of traffic up there at Memorial Day, so you can't really fish a whole lot. Y'all got a fishing trip coming up, don't you? Oh. Mm. How soon? Hold'em Hold Hook Classic. 28th annual Hold'em Hook Classic. It, wow. it's, it's some of the greatest fishermen this side of the Mississippi gathering at the Autumn High. Yeah. Now, to help. Can you give us a list, a little rundown of the people uh, that's on? Well, the, the number one boat would be obviously my boat, mm. champion uh. boat. No. But who's with you? Uh, my buddy Dana Patasaw fishes with me. Now, I fish with different people over here. Mitch used to be a loyal partner that fish, in my boat. That boat caught way more fish when I was in We have caught a lot of uh, fish in that boat I, by any means necessary. Sometimes they sometimes they jump up in the boat. So they have been known to do that. I have been known to do that. But Dana well, why fishes don't Mitch with me. do it anymore with you? He just, well, you know. He got a lot going on. He, did, yeah. his, was he a little hit or miss on his attendance? He, he was really good for a couple of years, and then he was kind of hit or miss. I his, bought a boat. I bought a boat. So you bought your own boat. I had a Dana boat. doesn't have a boat? So Dana does have a boat. I reckon he still got his boat, but he always just goes and fishes with me. He's president of Green Acres. Yeah. Thanks, Dana. Good guy. Huh. Keep He's great. Good, Keep good fisherman. Good but but it, we, me and Travis Craft and Kevin Malone started going back when we were in college. Mm. We were, we'd go hunting and fishing on the weekends, and we just carried it over. Yeah. I heard Eddie Floyd was making it. Eddie Floyd Jr. Is, is coming. Yeah, he's been he's been pretty regular. He's missed a few years, but now does he know how to fish? He tried to talk himself out of this one this year. Yeah, he's trying. To. I, does if he you know, listen does he to his to stories? You would think uh, I mean, he's Bill Dance. You, uh, yeah. If you listen to the stories he tells, well, I mean, he raised himself cattle rancher from six years old. I mean, he's done a lot of. Imp- <laughs> wasn't given anything. No, just. I, I, I will say this: Eddie Floyd can fish a little bit. He's a good fisherman. Is he? Okay. He, he talks a big game, but now he usually can't can back it up. Mm-hmm. So what about his kids, his boys? Is that somebody? Well, Nobody. They just leave, he leaving them. That's yeah, a lot. That's, that's tough, you know. Poor baby C. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I've been fishing a couple times here recently down at the PFA. I cannot catch anything at the PFA. Well, here's your guys right here. Yeah, that's us. Y'all been to the PFA? I like, I like the, the one on, on East Dublin. Yeah, over there Hugh East Gillis. Dublin. Yeah. I, like I can't catch them. We'll, we'll catch fish. It's not a. It's not w- whether we'll catch them or not. We're going to catch fish mm. one way or the other. Just but Travis. Just Kraft, how many? Travis Craft can catch fish too. His dad's had a cabin down at Autumn Hall for long as I can remember. Since Travis and I were little, probably before that, since he was young. Mister mm. Tommy, he Mr. sponsors Tommy. the fishing trip. Mister Tommy is is probably one of the best fishermen I've ever been around. I, I kid you not. I've been with him at the river before, and he'll pull up to a spot and say, "Oh, right, we're going to catch here for about thirty minutes." And we'll catch fish for about. Does he whisper minutes. to you like that when he says it? Sometimes, because <laughs> the fish, fish can hear you. Yeah. Now, he, Mr. Tommy, when he comes over, now you boys? we can't play music in the boat because it rattles the it moves, vibration. Vibration it scares the fish away. If you ever get a chance but, to fish with Tommy Craft, you he'll carry take, you. He, take he'll notes. He'll carry spot, He's a legend. If you don't know, you don't know where to fish. He he'll will carry, brag. He will give you one of his secret spots every now and then. I need to get his number. He won't give you the spots he carries his grandkids. Oh yeah, no. But he'll catch fish. He'll carry you fishing. Catch fish. I need to look he, him up. He did lose his boat. His, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, did, he did lose his truck in the river one year. <laughs> he backed up early, one it morning. Early in the morning. He would fish with. He fishes with us some. He hadn't lately, but he backed up early one morning. Me and Mitch are standing on the dock. He's gonna put his boat in, and he went to get out and left it in gear. I think he put it in oh. neutral. Thought he was putting uh, apart, and he went to rolling backwards. Well, the course, you, the boat ramp was slick. He falls down. I dive in. <laughs> Get in the seat. By this time, it's up to my chest. Do you get it out of there? Well, it wouldn't pull out. Of course, he's giving he's me orders. By this point, on. he's up giving me orders. He dives in and goes and gets the boat. I'm swimming for the boat. It's tied to the <laughs> He thought he had to I, go I thought the, the boat, boat was gone. Like, it's just drifted <laughs> off. I was like, oh, the boat's gone. Was, it's water's cold, too. I didn't know. <laughs> Dove in off the dock. I was like, I better get the boat. The best part. Hold up. The best part. You're just blind swimming. <laughs> Once I get there, the rope pulled tight. 
<laughs> I never had a rope attached to it. He's about dead. He's about drowned. <laughs> but the best part was, it, Mr. Tommy's son, Travis, one of my best friends, was standing up there at the at the, at the store. He goes, he's fixing his coffee, getting him some bread. Hey, they didn't have to jump in and go get that boat. Me and Daddy would have went and got that boat for him. <laughs> he didn't know it was his dad's boat. His dad was, had fallen down under the truck, and I had to he jump did. in and save the I think truck. the truck rolled over it his did. leg. Rolled over his leg. But he bounced up. Yeah, he jumped up. He bounced up to the get Thompson's, immediately. Start giving me orders, Mike. Now put it in gear. Thompson's and pull that much, Tommy. The, it won't go. It's, it's floating. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the ground. Tires He's sitting just spinning in the front in the water. seat with water up to here. He's up to my chest. And his and his both his feet on the on the brake. He's like, it ain't, it ain't he going. It's going to go backwards before it goes forward. <laughs> Mm. It was, I thought it was, we hooked the truck up to it or something. Yeah, like right. we hooked the truck to it and pulled it out. But I tell you what, they went back and cleaned it out. Travis stayed back with his dad. They cleaned it out. Truck survived. He drove it home. Truck survived. He drove it home. I think he probably traded it next week. But but now that's not a bad idea. We went on and fishing. We didn't we didn't wait on them. We went on and fished without them. And then talked about the story the whole day. Oh, just, it was just, a good time. So time when we got life. back, he cooked his fish. Mr. Yeah. Tommy cooked his fish. Well, he owed us at that point. That we had saved true. his life. That is true. But saved his life, his truck, and his boat. Everything. But now when we got back, they had more fishing we had. <laughs> I'm telling you, Tommy Graff can catch a fish. He, at all tomorrow, there's none any better. That guy's yeah, good. He's good. Law, well, I'm glad you survived, bud. We, Memorial Day would have hit different this year. It would. You know, well, see, I, then y'all it wouldn't talk have, more It wouldn't have been a KIA, though, so it wouldn't. I mean. No. Or we talked about this. It's still, you still memorialize even if you die That's right. not in battle. Oh, so the four years that you had in the Marines, if you die today. At any point. Then Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't right. like you can get buried in uh, in Arlington. I, I didn't know. I thought you had to die in battle. So like, uh, I think we my, can mute my, that over to MT or what? I thought after the first one you'd you'd make an adjustment. <laughs> a popular guy. You're finna get muted. I'm a popular yeah, guy. we will mute you. God over here on the on the <laughs> on the panel is finna get muted. All right, before we uh, dive into some sports, let's take a quick commercial break. For all of your commercial and residential real estate, as well as property management needs, give Premier Properties of Dublin a call at 478-274-1606. Their customer service is unmatched, and I can personally guarantee that they will work with you to get you the deal that you want. Again, that's Premier Properties at 478-274-1606. This is Brad Meeks, owner of Brian's Giant Subs. Thanks for listening to the Big Ugly Sports Podcast. Come see us today to grab your favorite sub, 1632 Veterans Boulevard in the Oaks Shopping Center, Dublin, Georgia. Are you tired of overpaying for your cable? Do you feel like you're not getting your money's worth? I've got just a solution for you, J2 Streaming Services. With over 9,000 live channels and packages starting at $15 a month, visit www.j2streaming.com. Big Peach Car Wash coming soon across from Highway 80 or across from Walmart on Highway 80. Be looking out for Big Peach Car Wash. It's going to be a real nice place to get your car cleaned up. And Blackshear Beverage, located down there on Lake Blackshear. So if you're heading that way, it's late time. I'm sure they had a busy weekend this weekend. Be sure to go by telling the Big Ugly Sports team sent you. Law for future reference, when we go commercial break, the mics are still light. They're active. They're still hot. So any ice chewing or extra curricular you got going over there. I feel like you were talking to Mike. Was it, did you say Mike when you started that? I meant to say Mitch. I think I said Mitch. I think you said Mitch. Yeah. Either way, everybody knows who I'm talking about. So. I was not listening. What would you say? Typical. <laughs> Mike hot during commercial break. Hot Mike? All right. Uh, let's talk a little little Braves baseball right here. Uh, Soroka made his long-awaited debut last night. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the stat line I didn't look at. I watched the game. Did you get to watch any of it? I did not catch the game, no. So it was uh, – I thought he, he threw good, he threw really well. Made a, had a one bad inning where he gave up. A three a run and then a three run homer just made a couple mistakes, but I mean the whole time I'm I'm sitting there thinking like he's fitting to just tear his Achilles yeah. every time he just moves. getting him back in the big leagues to pitch some innings I'm I'm happy and I'm thankful for for him especially but as a Braves fan for the team and then when you you think about getting Freed back and Kyle Wright back and you know you get everybody going and get hot maybe at the right time because you don't. You don't necessarily want to get hot now. Mm -mm. Just maintain. Yeah, you want to maintain, keep a decent pace, and then get hot toward the end of the season. When they waited and brought him back one day at home. Well, I think probably one of their thoughts were one, the pitcher, the rotation's thin. Right. Two, the Oakland Athletics are horrible. They they were ten and forty five before last night on eleven game losing streak. Last night, not last night. No, so I think they were thinking, all right, well, that's the team you want to bring him back again. Let's get his confidence going. Meanwhile, we just couldn't hit. And 
their their pitcher was on making his major league debut for this year after coming off an injury. So, um, how much of that? How much of that is guys just overlooking the A's? Oh, I'm sure, dude. It was eighty. They said eighty three hundred were there at the game. That's tough. And that stadium's massive. It looked like nobody was there. I saw uh, the Houston Astros uh, team Twitter account uh, had posted the Astros scored ten runs. Versus the A's in front of tens of fans. Yeah, they went low blow on them. That's tough. <laughs> I, Oakland is moving to Vegas, I believe, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And Somebody, a 30, who's 30, moving to Nashville? Ain't there a team moving to Nashville? You just made it up. Nope. I swear. I just, I, I this dude's it. trying to first report on Big O Sports. Which I saw it on Sports Center. Mi- I told him. You it. didn't see it on Sports Center. Yes, I did. Mitch Olney right here. Right, There's not a team moving to Vegas. I mean, uh, Nashville. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Let me of. fact check him real quick. But the Vegas. Major there, League Baseball team moving to Nashville. Is that what you're saying? I, is maybe, it the Braves? Maybe it was in the top. Is it the Braves? I, hopefully it's not the Braves. Because I thought it was going to take out a Braves. Braves the, country? Braves country, yeah. Nobody's going there. But the Vegas Stadium is only going to seat 30,000 people, which is a small small venue for Major League. But I'm assuming there, when you have 8,500 coming in Oakland, they can't expect too many, too many more to show out. So Braves in a good spot. Yeah, I'm like you, Height. You get, you get freed, right. You got Strider, Soroka, Elder. I mean, you still got Charlie Morton too, but you're talking about five young young arms that could could lock it down for a while. So exciting thing for the Braves. This time normally we are behind in the stats or behind in the standings have to make a late run. But if we can just maintain until we get those guys back, I think the Braves could make a serious push this year. In fact, check him out. Yeah, it says the Nashville Stars, Justin Timberlake, and some other guys are trying to bring in a team to Nashville, but they don't know when it's going to happen. This was it. It was a, it, They were talking about Don Manningly is helping them plan. Don Manningly or Don Mattingly? Don Mattingly. Don okay. Mattingly. I wasn't sure. There could have been – there could Mattingly. be a guy. Matt, Don, well, he was watching Don Manningly play when he went to Atlanta in 92. <laughs> <laughs> no, he played with the Yanks. Played with the Yanks. Managed with the Dodgers and – what in? Florida. In Marlins. Florida, mm. Marlins for a little while. And I saw him another he's day. A, he's, he's on somebody's. He's an assistant. He's their advisor. Somebody. He's Nashville's advisor for their for, to get a franchise. But he's currently, since Nashville's not a team, nor will there ever be, he's currently an assistant <laughs> on another staff. Maybe the Padres, you're somebody like, like that. You're lucky it's a family show. You're really lucky this is a family <laughs> show. All right, MT, tell us, before we get to college baseball, I know college softball, you're you know, the softball guru, guru over here. Just slow pitch, fast pitch state champs this year for the West Orange Raiders. Yeah, I'm sorry. Congratulations. We, we well, thank you. I don't know if you heard us. We get to congratulate you on the show. You weren't here, but well, thank you. Yeah, I'm so, ripping. Um, was a good. It was a good year for West Lawrence softball. It was a good well, year. Great year. Some would call it epic. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So yeah, I'm excited about the um, college softball getting started. I don't know if you guys watch a lot of college softball, but I'd rather watch that than anything. I um, was a comedian on the other day that was talking about it. He said, Theo Vaughn. Yeah. He said, man, get me. Yeah, he's a friend of the show. <laughs> it was hilarious. It's it You'd rather watch it than, I, like. I'd lot rather watch it. I'd lot rather watch it than the Major League Baseball. Really? He's Why is that? I watch some college baseball. Is that because you coach softball here? Probably, probably so because I coach it. But, you know, it's one of those things, once you get into it and watch it a little bit, it's, it's exciting. It's fast. It's a short game. It's quick. Right. Um, That's what he was saying. He said, it's a quick game. He yeah, said. it's it's good. But now, if you hadn't had a chance to see Oklahoma play, Are they good, incredible. Man. Have they lost? I think they may have one loss on the year, um, but they're they're. I mean, how incredible. do you get just recruit? I mean, how are you that good? I don't know. Patty Gasso has been in a long time. She's won a bunch. I think they've won six, maybe somewhere around that. But you're they, looking at us for confirmation on those numbers. We don't have a clue. <laughs> I, I, I don't need. Um, he's, he's name dropping. Right. But but yeah, she, Oklahoma's incredible. Florida State, man. We I, I carried Ella down to Florida State um, back during spring break. And we watched the game. She she's become a, a Florida State softball fan. That's that's tough in our house because you know we're all Georgia fans. But she's become a really big Florida State softball fan. I think it's because the Flannery girl that plays second base for. Florida State's number nine, bats at the top of the order. She's a lefty, just like Ella. She's a lefty. She wears number nine like her dad and her brother. And 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 so I think she likes her because of that. But this girl can can play. And, and so we went down and watched. Great atmosphere. If you've never been on the Florida State campus, I've, y'all talk about it on We've the show been. a lot. Yeah, it's a dog. We've been. The, well, the, <laughs> Ra, I'm going to make Raji proud, but the Florida State campus is a beautiful place. It really is. The facilities are Incredible. Are you talking about the one in Tallahassee? That is the the city of Tallahassee. I wouldn't brag on a whole lot, but has he ever been to Athens Heights? 
I have I been to Athens. I have been at. I love. It. I'm a Georgia fan. Don't get me wrong. But I, I will say, I, I wish the softball, softball complex was closer to campus than right. Athens. Is it's you know it's down Millage with the soccer complex, and it's just kind of away from everywhere. And it's not a. I don't know. Well, that. if you like good softball, it's it's hard. It's not, to, Florida State really is really talented. They're good. They they got you know they recruit well their facilities are great um you know i think it's really a three team anybody could win it at this point but i think it's a three team race between oklahoma oklahoma state's really talented and then florida state uh, um I, it's gonna be tough to beat oklahoma well so they're, they're 56 deep. and one yeah they're just i would hate for fsu to win just because roger would hang his hat on that like because fsu's football is not oh, yeah. really much well, they, right beat, now. they beat georgia the other day and he was yeah, oh, yeah, he, he was, was tooting, tooting his horn on that, he just saying him. that that's what FSU was going to do to Georgia if they met in the playoffs this year. I, I told him that <laughs> he probably wasn't going to happen. But, uh, they, do have a, they do have a legit shot to make it to, I mean, to yeah. the playoffs because well, they're the ACC and they're terrible. But Yeah. And Clemson doesn't have a quarterback situation squared away, and, and Florida State has Jordan Travis coming back. And, Is and Clubin he had a really good year. not the guy at Clemson? We're talking yeah, about football. We're talking softball. Well, we moved. We transitioned. Uh, like, we, 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 yeah, we, we see y'all have no interest in softball. I want to talk talking? softball. Y'all were right well, I thought, I thought well, we you did. wrapped it up when you no, said no, there's I a three thought team we talked race. Didn't we just that talk softball? Yeah, we did. We did. I didn't even get to give you all the rest of the field. At least I give you the rest of the field. That's pretty much It's kind of like a softball game, real quick. And this is an unpopular opinion, but. It's kind of like girls basketball, you know. There's those top teams, and nobody can beat them. And it's kind of how so, like nobody's going to beat Oklahoma, nobody's going to beat Florida State, except maybe one of them two. Where in basketball, nobody's going to beat LSU or these top few. Kind of like high school softball this year. There was a few of us top teams. Yeah. Yes, top teams. I was just I was just about to say it's kind of like, very similar. It was kind of like <laughs> that, wrestling, not that, quite yeah. as similar. Uh, is that right? Hmm. I mean, this program at this school. For now. Tell him, NT, for now. Well, I mean, he he's does have, he does he's have an argument. Up. He's catching up. Oh, he's talking like you're a little boy now. He's catching up. Wow. Law. I, I'm just saying he's catching up. Law. I, I've, he's a little brother, I just came he in. Did. He don't have a little brother, so he, he thinks. I just came in in a good situation. I just came in in a good situation. Hmm. Well, I did, too. I ain't going to say I didn't. The program was in good shape when I got into it, but. Just now, did you start coaching the year the year after we won? We won didn't Franks and them win? I started – my first year was 04. But that was slow pitch, I think. Didn't we win? We went fast pitch in 03 here at West Lawrence. But like the last year slow pitch, didn't we win state? Franks, uh, Franks no, and Merck? Mm -mm. That was, was 2000. Thinking. They won it, and then we were slow pitch for two more years, and then right. we went fast pitch in 03. But, but, but right quick before we move on. Uh, Tennessee and Alabama play Oklahoma and Stanford. They're in one side of the bracket, and Florida State, Oklahoma State, Washington, and Utah on the other side. I really think Florida State and Oklahoma State will be the <sighs> two that comes out of that side. <laughs> I'll tell you why. This guy. Is that right? Anyway. All right. Watch it. It starts Thursday. It's exciting. I I'll, love some college I'll softball. I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look. And, um, All right. How we're going to need to report back next week with what you, yeah. what you got from it. Okay. Those listen. Those kids are talented. You know, coaching no high doubt. school softball, people don't really realize how talented those Division One kids are, and they're just. Can, they're can I say something on your behalf right here, Mike? Sure, go ahead. So, I, I just want to say he really is a good coach. Like I thought this whole time they were winning, like it wasn't anything to do to him. But I would you him, think that? Well, you know, I've just. He, well, I just thought it, he was kind of like a how Raji does That's it. how our community does. That's I thought he, he I thought he was more. It's of just a, magically, if, if you're winning, it can't be the coach. I just thought he was oh, kind of a figure. Spot no, so, oh, I thought man, he was a figure. A monkey you know? could have coached that team. Well, there's so, 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 ma those there's so many people yeah. in the community. I mean, hundreds of people in the community have run him down. Hundreds. More than most. He's high tower esque. He's very high tower esque. So anyway, so anyway, more supporters than not. I know. I know. Oh, for sure. I'm a All right, speak on his bad height. So then I, I've convinced him to give my son hitting lessons, and he has made a world of difference. The guy knows his stuff. He's enthusiastic. I mean, he's just – and I know if he's doing that for my kid, he's probably even more so – Brooks higher. out hitting tanks right now? Yes. And it's really just because this man right here is putting – Well, it's just Brooks' it's pure athleticism. Thankful his mom, his, his mom, his mom is, mom good is, is a good athlete. Yeah. Sure. I'll take it anyway and get it. But <laughs> Listen, listen, they did good. They did good. Have you seen his kids – have I seen his kids? Yeah, boy, they're pretty. Have you seen? Oh yeah, I've seen his my kids? kids. Yes, I have seen. I've seen a couple times. It's, ama it's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's based amazing. on this. Yes, that based on that, this, that I didn't. A lot of mama's DNA. Listen, young listen, young listen if they had, I've always kids. said, good -looking if they family. have her good looks and my personality, tough to be. Not, not your personality. Yeah, great not. personality. Great personality. 
Raj has been on record saying he's the ugliest person he knows. So that is for those true. kids to be that, he said that he good took looking. a survey. I know, he took a we survey. We did. We did. I was part of that. in the we, gym. It, it was of all the high no. school kids. Who is the ugliest? And we did and how tall by eighty two percent, I believe. And we did a and we did <laughs> eighty two percent. And we did a survey monkey to the teachers <laughs> <laughs> and got the data on that. I didn't get that one. Well, thank oh. you, High Tower. It's been I've enjoyed working with. Brother. I don't work with a lot of kids individually like that, but Brooke's a good kid despite his father. Yeah. <laughs> and Height's done so much for you. It's really the least you can do for him. Are you done with softball now or what? Is that right? Are we finished? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Hey. All right, Height's got I, I, the. I, no, I'm not. I'm not done. Okay, I, I'm, I'm pulling for. I'm going to just give you this. I'm, I'm pulling for. Um, I'm kind of pulling for Florida State in this thing. I'd love to That's because Ella. Well, it's because Ella's muted. pulling for. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> but. All right, that's All it. Right, what All right, Hutch, you got some college baseball. I haven't given this anything, so I don't, I don't know well, what. Well, I'm going to credit this to Mitch. He brought it up earlier. We were in there. While you were being late, he and I were prepping for the show. We and, can thank my friend for that, mm, I suppose. Uh, so, anyway, just running down, we'll just do maybe top top eight here for the Division One baseball championship. We're at the regional portion of the tournament here. This, but, by the way, before you start. I just want I've the reason started, I brought this up for you is because going. I just memories when I when I got out of the military, a good friend of mine was Trace, it a dishonorable Trace discharge? Beckett, it was not. A, Can you speak into the mic, please? Four years of honorable discharge. I could see you being a, a guy that gets the dishonorable. Regardless, discharge. when I got out, I got out. Uh, Isn't good, it wild? You, you hold on. I think he flipped a boat or something. Maybe his dry boat. Flipped, I didn't he, flip always, a boat. he always tells the story. Hey, I, was, I, was a boat, I was a boat driver. Coxswain. That's what they call him. A what? Easy now. Coxswain. PG. That, now hold on. Now. You've told this story. <laughs> You've told this story before Cox that, Smith, that you were a radio Cox operator. Smith. I've called you something. Changes similar. every time. So I don't. I don't know what they call boat drivers. Could you please stop talking? I need to mute him, please. Now you will over talk. You've said in class. On record, many times that you were a radio operator and you fell out of a helicopter, landed on top of your radio. I almost and died. I did. That was when we were training with the Hilo company. You can't. Well, so, so now your boat's or, in, or, the, in the. Quick, so you're now your boat's in the. With in the, the Hilo Fox, company. Fox Company 25. <laughs> Fox Company 25 is Chill. a boat company. Chill. Echo Company. Muting. All right. So can we Echo get. Echo Company. <laughs> Echo Company is Listen. a Hilo company. So. Okay. Hey. What? Well, because you never know where you're going to fight. You got to have multiple avenues of getting there. Oh, yeah. So we would carry Echo Company in the battle in our boats if we needed to go by okay. boat. They carry us in the helicopters if we need to go by helicopter. Okay. I got okay. you. We're right. training in a helicopter. We appreciate you, man. And that's what happened. Thank you for your but service. I was a boat company, and I was a boat driver. With a, we, with a radio on your back. Well, we pull up into the... If no, you, this is this one. If you've ever seen him drive cars. a boat at the river, you would never guess that he drove a boat right there. <laughs> you, you talking about, you're talking about Fox 25? It could be the worst, worst river boat This is why, this is why he got trees. a dishonorable discharge, because he couldn't drive his boat. <laughs> He'll be all up in the trees, stuck on limbs. Oh, uh, my God. So, number one seed here is Wake Forest. You didn't let me tell us. Demon Deacon. Yeah, it's not worth it. Well, then you got Florida. hate that. Arkansas, Clemson, LSU, Vandy, Virginia, Stanford. Now, Law and I were looking at There's nine nine teams from the SEC made it into the tournament. Guess Ge- did. Georgia, not one of them. Not even one. And they fired they fired their coach, which he's been there ten years. They they're not making it. I mean, it's time to move on. So will that be a, will that be a, a desirable landing spot for a good college baseball? And it should be. There's no reason. All the baseball talent in the state of Georgia. There's no reason that Georgia shouldn't have. I, just, I don't think they're recruit. I mean, they're not recruiting them. You look at, and I know you know Chris Harrelson. He was my baseball coach. His son Gage is out there at Texas Tech, mm. from Houston County, starting in center field, and they're they're one of the top twenty five teams. And no, he's, I mean, if they'll just do like football and just recruit in the state of Georgia, yep. You would think they'd be able to recruit easy with the success footballs had, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's, but, they're they're just not putting money into it. Well, that, I think that's it too. They don't put a, well, they don't put the money and effort into it. Like say, I think Vandy's really bought into hey, we're, well, we're gonna, hey, we're, we're, we're going to be terrible be, at football. Let's but, let, let's like let's I, pour I into baseball. Georgia they need some alone to pump more money. Right. More in Georgia than than Georgia. And keep looking, not this way. Would you agree? What'd, What'd you say? say? Georgia Southern recruits more in Georgia than Georgia does. For yeah. baseball, for baseball, I don't, I don't know the roster makeup. So I couldn't. Recru- I'm not- recruiting's tough at that level. I mean, it's, it's tough. You know, well, you got to work with the draft and Major League Baseball, and yeah. But and- I feel like the brand in the state of Georgia, the brand of Georgia, even though it's largely due to football, should be somewhat easier to sell. I mean, you're coming to you're it's Georgia, like it's man. Some of the best best times I had in Athens were baseball games. Watching when, Jody Pollock when Pollock played. Yeah, Jody Rush. Shout out Jody oh, Pollock. That is a shout out. 
my right hand man. That, that was back when they'd let you sit in the outfield. We'd sit back there and grill on a Sunday or a Saturday afternoon. They they'd grill. Uh, Nate and them. Was Georgia good. was good when he was there. Man, they were good. He was he's good. Lights out. Who was I the, can believe who was that. the shortstop? Uh, well, Kepinger. Kepinger. Kep. This is this is this is when you started saying we when you were talking about Georgia. I, what I did. What first of all, I feel like team? because I'm from Georgia. I should be able to say we. I'm with you on that, Lord. Yeah, you can. I'm with you on that. You I'm, can. So he, sure. starts, I'm with you. he starts big dogging me in there in my <laughs> That's room not earlier. true. That's he not true. He said, we. You're saying, you keep saying we, we, we. He probably like, says we with the Atlanta Braves, and he didn't play said, for the Braves. I said, first of all, I said, I can say we have him from Georgia. He said, I, didn't, I just didn't know who you were well, talking about. He's, he's, I didn't know who you were talking about. He said, said they're, in our, they're in our regional. Our. And I was like, well, and I, said, and I said, well, Georgia's not in there, so I don't know who ours is. That's my. That was Who was my he question. referred to? He, he never answered the question. He's big dog. He said, "I can only say we." Now, do I have, I do I have a degree from the University of Georgia? Yes, I do. <laughs> that he likes to bring up, and and, and mine, oh, mine's not as impressive. No, it's you've immersive. you've often told me yours is more impressive because it, it costs, costs more. more. It definitely costs more. So I mean, private school. Private. Look school, at the bro. return on investment they got though. The yeah. Mercer got from you. Me, me and Meredith Manning slash Lawhorn, or hyphen hyphenated Lawhorn, <laughs> the the least favorite of the daughter in laws of my mom. So, uh, so have, you and Meredith, Mercer, Mercer, Mercer Bears, we were Mercer. you and Mer, you and Meredith, equal intelligence and all that stuff. I'm I'm way up, way superior. <laughs> this is coming from the guy here that said, claims a few years ago when Meredith got Teacher of the Year that because that's fact it said M Lawhorn on there because he did for me. She got all his votes. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> she got all his votes. It should have been that's, him. That's it. I, I at least should have got half of them. You know, some of those are fraudulent, fraudulent votes. I mean, M E Lawhorn. Everybody knows you don't spell Mitch M E. But they didn't. Put it didn't. Me. Both back of them then, didn't just back say. Then M. they only put M Lawhorn for both of y'all. Yeah, because she did my duty and her duty for for a whole year before she even realized it, she was doing two duties. Uh, well, <laughs> you didn't say anything. <laughs> was it because she didn't realize it? Or because you were not be out in the hall. She'd be standing out in the hallway, and I was like, oh, "That's what I'm supposed to be doing." But she's out there. I'm good. So I didn't she's got you covered. Typical. She's covering up for so Lawhorn. You, you probably had lesson plans and, and stuff like you know. You know what. Yes, sir. You know what? My guy's always hard, ready. Hard worker. Yes, sir. Hard worker, this guy. I can attest. I've seen it firsthand. So, who'd you pick, Height, to win the – you got to pick over I'm going to go LSU winning it all. Over Wake Forest. I like LSU. Good pick. I like Good LSU. Pick. I would say Clemson. You can you can you say can. Clemson. You don't, I don't. I like to pick in the SEC, but I think I think Clemson. I've from a couple of the ball games I've watched, I, I believe they were really okay. good. I like Arkansas. Okay. And as much as this pains me, I like I like Florida. And and I, I see that's Florida. who I really really wanted. To I go just with. I can't bring myself. Florida, Florida's it's got hard. three really good pitchers. They do. From, from what I looked at, and it's hard it's hard to beat three good pitchers. Yeah. In, we're in we're hoping baseball. somebody does beat them though. I'm yeah. not pulling for them, but I'd love you could see that in the first yeah. round. I, w- I would. I, I'd I would love have to see went. Arkansas win it. That'd be that'd be cool. It's just I, hard I've for always me to pick. I, th- I think that'd be a great place to. To, to go to a baseball game is Arkansas. I bet his fans are rowdy. I, I bet it's a great it so it, Same way in softball, Mississippi State's got the largest college baseball stadium in the country, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I, I bet, I bet when they're good, too. I bet that thing is yeah, rocking. The house, the house that Will Clark. Didn't the they win it two years built. ago? I think oh, yeah. they yeah. won it, and then I think Ole Miss won it. The Ole Miss went last year? I yeah, I think I think it was yeah. either last year or year before Ole Miss. Ole Miss won. That was I mean, their first. Mississippi State won it. Here comes. I don't know. This is the facts. The Mississippi State won it the year before they they changed the bats when they were still, you know they sure. they just started using the here he comes carbon bats or whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure. It amazes me that with this this they, microphone setup, it pivots literally however you want it to, and you still fail to speak into the microphone. I can't. I can't see over it. I can. You, you can move, move it. I feel like I'm behind. Lower the arm. Here, I'll mute it. Lower it a little bit. There. Now slide your chair. There. There you go. That's Much all bad. you had to do, buddy. Oh my gosh! Now he's hitting the uh, spring. It's like he's Darth Vader over there. Have uh, Have y'all given Have y'all given the NBA finals or NBA conference well, finals I, anything? I was I was keeping track of the Western Finals because I I really was hoping the Lakers would lose and they did. And That's so, what I was hoping for also. Uh, and then I Man, saw just I saw a putback for the Celtics. That was a very clutch play. We thought it was a pretty cool play. But then I, and then I saw that they lost. The the crappy thing about which I mean I'm, I I don't have a dog in the fight the Hawks obviously didn't make it but the Heat are the second eight seed to ever make the NBA Finals which is and they had to, the Hawks beat them in the first play in game and then they had to beat the Bulls I think it was the Bulls to get in as the eight seed and since then they've they've ran the table the crappy thing for Boston though is that guy's that guy's tip in would have been like a historic play in Celtic history I mean it was wild how close it was and that play will now be. 
just that play will be forgotten. And the Celtics were only like the fourth or fifth team to ever be down 3-0 and take it to a game seven. They were the first team. Muck mouth, really. Hey, well, that's a lot going on. They had the first team to host a game seven after being down 3-0, and they would have been the first team in NBA history to win after being down 3-0. And all that, they dropped the ball and, all, and got boat raced last night by the Heat. Yeah. So, Jimmy Butler, man, he's – and they have like, like Duncan Robinson, uh, Gabe Vincent. They've got like uh, – there's like three or four guys that play major minutes for them that were undrafted. So it's a pretty cool story. Now they're about to run into that's the heat. That's mm-hmm. the heat. But they're about to run into a buzz saw with Denver, who's well rested now. But you know, are y'all one of those that thinks a long break is worse than I playing? Like, I don't like the break. I don't, I don't like either. the break either. But I think like they, they would just. But now the Heat have just gone through a hard fought seven game series, and they're about to. They had. Already, I saw where they had booked their flight not back before the game started. I they think- had, so, yeah, uh, Denver, I think Denver's at the advantage, well-rested, and they've got the best player in NBA and Joker. So, any any predictions for the NBA final series? Heat Heat Nuggets, what you got, Law? I like the Heat. I in, how, the, in how many? I like the underdog. In how many like games? Heat, I feel like the Heat's the underdog, so I'm, I'm going with the underdog. In how many games? Ooh. They play, I, they're uh, gonna play. Ma- max of seven. I, see, I don't even know. I don't, I don't, I they don't play a max of seven. Two, two, one, one, one. one. Uh, two in Denver, seven, two in Miami. Seven. Okay. Six games, Nuggets and six probably. Same. Nuggets six. I'm I'm gonna go with the Heat. I'm gonna go. I, I, I I'm gonna go with you, Law. I'm gonna say Nuggets and six. I mean, not Heat and six. So exciting baseball, exciting basketball to watch. All right. I mean, so I've long? got some trivia. Ooh. If we want to throw a little trivia out here. What kind of trivia? Just <laughs> random. Yeah. Random. Random. Well, before we do that. Just okay. one more shout out for the Dudley All Stars. We got we got softball coming up. Dudley All Stars seven and eight softball, uh, and the Ray host Dudley hosting any of them this year? No, we only hosted two tournaments this year. Well, not the seven and eight. They're both, set, both girls. They did seven and eight last year in Dudley, right? We we've hosted or it all, it all runs together. We it does a lot. Yeah. Anyway, so the uh, seven and eight boys as well coming up Thursday. So we'll be in Jones County. And then there's another one playing in Macon, maybe. My boy Brooksy. Yeah. Go get him, Brooksy. Got to gotta get him. Conrad. Got to run the bases in that league. Yes. Got yes. to be aggressive. It's a running, it's a yeah. running league. And you got to throw it. You got to throw ahead of the runner. Right. I just brought it up last time. I mean, you could just run them. Yep. When yeah, was they're going to get you every now and then because the kid's going to luck up and catch the ball. But most what? of the time, most of the time they're dropping it. That okay. pressure of that kid, they see that kid coming at them. They're not even looking at the ball. They're looking First at year we did it saw when L's at age. We won a game 13 to 11. We didn't yeah. put a single ball in play. Not one. <laughs> not one ball. We didn't, walk, even, we didn't even put one in play. And foul. Walks and running. Walks and running. That was kid pitch. It was, yeah, it was kid pitch. Well, see, this is coach pitch. It was. But still, if still, you got to run. don't hurry up and get it back out there after. If you don't got to buy it, got it, you letting it roll to the backstop. Mm-hmm. On a walk. go around. On a walk. That kid's on third. Mm-hmm. He's running all the way. Like he walk, he runs the first, takes off. He's all the way to third. So get your arm loosened up, my yeah. boy. Run them on the bases. That's right. Oh. I'm first base coach, so just send them. We send them. EY. Mm-hmm. All right, a little trivia right here. Okay, first answer. What sitcom was the number one rated TV show for five straight seasons? Seinfeld. During the 1970s. This oh. is a throwback. Brady Bunch. Nope. Seven. I got a hint. Mary Tyler Moore. Welcome back, Kata. Is it Mary Tyler Moore? Nope. <laughs> Up your nose with Ooh, a rubber Arch- hole. Uh, all in the family. All in the family. All in the- Archie Bunker. Oh, that was going to be my hint. All in Ooh. the family. Hi. Right. Uh-huh. All right. How many degrees of black belt are there in karate from student to hanshi? Hanshi. It's one through ten. That's your choices. Eight. Closest wins. Nine. Seven. I was going to say nine. Seven. The answer's ten. <gasps> Do it, Law. One to one and nothing. All right. What is the point at which two lines meet to form an angle? This is a math question. So you got an angle where the two lines meet. What's that one point called? Vertex. Mm. Oh, I'm going to have to text Miss, Miss Newsom on that. <laughs> it's called the vertex. <laughs> All right. Which U.S. state's name begins but doesn't end with the letter A? Hmm. <laughs> Say it again. What state he stopped begins but don't it. end with the letter A? Begins but doesn't end with the letter A. 
Come on now, we got some we got some geography guy. Dang. Well, I'm running it down, and that's tough. I'm running it down also. It's an obvious one once you hear it, obviously. Of course, of course. <laughs> Don't let's throw, let's throw out some Arizona names. Arizona and Alabama, but they're both well, beginning. I, I it's Arizona. a southern. It's a southern state. Arkansas. No, oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you hadn't said Southern State, I don't think I would have got it. I couldn't get past Alaska. Arkansas. <laughs> I said Arizona, Alaska, Alabama, and then I was stuck. Law running away with it. What former professional athlete was actress Halle Berry's first husband? David Justice. David Justice. Justice. That's me. Uh. What three colors make up the flag of France? Red, white, Red, white, blue. Red, white, and blue. Hi, y'all. No, that was a tie. No, I, it's, now it's three to three to goose egg over here. I'll probably I'm not very good in trivia. I have to think about I, I, it. I, I, I'm a slow slow. Yeah, I had to think a second. Yeah. Well what? I can tell that you're not I told, very good. I told you my kids, got one right yet, so the kids at school That's okay. I got two state titles. Don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> well there's there's only one person in this room that don't have two state titles. That is correct. well <laughs> there's only one one guy. Did I you mean, get your by the way, speaking of that, because I get criticized about it. Did you get your middle school coach a ring? I did. I did with the fast pitch one. I didn't with the slow pitch. All right. One. That's what I was, I was. I mean, well, he coaches fast pitch, right? He don't mm-hmm. coach something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had somebody say. I, I believe Jeff maybe said one time. Shout out Josh Carr. Does get, a great job. Why'd you get hot dog ring? No, that's because we're the end of it. That's because we're champions. I said first of all, that's what champions do. Hey, it all starts down there. Yeah. It does. I mean, without Bowers, what's going on? Mitch, you don't have to. Hey, you don't have to keep. Hey, what's, selling going, it. what's going on right now? You're all? overselling. All. What's little kids? Little kids. Uh, little kids. camp going on right now? At West Lawrence High School, if you you don't you don't know anything about it, but bring your kid out. What time does it start? Nine a.m. Nine a.m. <laughs> Dude, plugging it. They got a cool way to start. But that's okay. Because that's what High I Towers do. in charge of little kids. That's what I do, See, baby. You got to have hey continuity, a village, a village yeah. to raise. A that's child. why I got one of. All right. Things. According to the first Austin Powers movie, what is Austin's middle name? Danger. 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 All right, we'll do one more. That was. I'm up by one. That was a tough one. That wasn't tough. What was the last major battle of World War II? All you history guys. Ooh, Battle of Berlin. Nope. Yes. No, I think it was in the Stalingrad. Pacific. Stalingrad. Oh, of World War II. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on the J- Japanese front. It's going to be on the Pacific. Uh, yeah. Okinawa. The battle of Okinawa. Dang, I was just about to say. That was for the yeah. win. Yeah. No, that was, Okinawa. Tie. that was, was for the win. It That's all, a tie. I preface it by saying this for the win. Okinawa. My granddad, by the way, was in that battle. So Lawhorn on the Lawhorn side. No, four, he's a four, he four to four to zero. All right, what what broadcasting company owns CNN? Tie break. Just you two. Turner Broadcasting. Nope. <sighs> not anymore. Yeah, he sold all that. Dang, that's right. I don't. I have no idea. Well, don't say not anymore. Like you know it. And then he don't did. Know it, it was Turner Broadcasting. Yeah, it was on CNN. Time Warner. Time Warner. Time. Gosh. Warner. In what part of the former Soviet Union did the Chernobyl nuclear disaster occur? Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. He beat me to it. I was about to say it. Good job, Law. That boy, Law. That's I was I just do. about to say it. So I do. See, right. see, history kids. That's why you pay attention to history class. If you can't do anything, you get fifteen percent off at Pickle Barrel on trivia. <laughs> <laughs> it, if that's why you study history, so you can win useless and you never, trivia. You can know useless trivia, and knowledge. you never know when you might end up on a big old sports show. <laughs> there you go. That's right. And you and you get shut out like this guy. I'm terrible I, at trivia. <laughs> this is a bad show. Bad, bad debut. He's been out of Nerves. He's been out it of history. Matter. I'm terrible at trivia. I, mean, I'm, I'm bad, to think I'm about bad too. He's a Je- bad at Jeopardy. He's what, a, uh, what made you more nervous? The state championship game or this? Mm, probably the state championship Definitely. game. Barely. You Definitely. three clowns don't make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. Bring us home, bud. Hey, be sure to check us out on uh, social media, Big Ugly Sports on uh, Facebook and Instagram and BigUglySports.com. Make sure you like, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, thank you to Premier Properties of Dublin for being our title sponsor and for all of our sponsors as well. Shout out to Law for joining the show again today and MT for dropping by, gracing us with his presence. The shirts hopefully will be in next week. Hopefully. That's right. Uh, so be looking out for those. We'll be rocking them on the show probably and get them sent out to you. Hey, we appreciate your support wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Get, Get on, on that, that bus. bus. We on that Beep. yellow bus Beep. and we rolling down your street. <laughs> Early morning party. Oh.